All right, for this one it says, find all factors for the following numbers and classify each number as prime or composite. Explain your classification of each as prime or composite. So this is how they want us to do it. You guys know how earlier we were starting with the factors that we know always, one and itself. So for this one, our number is what? 25. So our first pair of factors would be one and so you would put, you just put them in the boxes. So instead of putting a multiplication sign, you have that little line in between. All right, what other numbers can we add? Or what other numbers can we multiply, I should say, to get 25? Two and anything? Three? No. Four? No. Five? Yes. Five and? Five. And then we're done. And then we're done because we have double. So is it prime or composite? Composite. All right, so let's, we have to explain ourselves. It said composite. What could our reasoning be? Josie? Yeah, it has more than two factors. So we don't get, we don't try to um, complete sentence. We can just say more than or more than two factors, right? So a prime number is a number of just the two factors, which are one and itself. All right, let's do twenty-eight. So I'm going to start with what we always know, which is one and. Thank you. I hear two and fourteen. Three and anything? No. Four? Four and seven. Five and anything? No. Six? No. All right, so is it prime or composite? Composite. What can our reasoning be? We can just steal our reasoning from our neighbor. What's our reasoning? More than two factors. Yeah, more than two factors. Nope, you can rewrite it. All right, what's the next one? 29. Let's start with what we know. We know 1 and 29. All right, is there anything else in there? 2 and something? 3? 4? 5? All right, I think you're right. So what kind of number is this? Prime. How do we know that it's prime? Less, less, two factors. Only two factors. Good job, Kaylee. Only two factors. All right, let's look at number three here. Brian says all prime numbers are odd numbers. List all of the prime numbers less than 20 in numerical order. All right, we don't we don't you include one. So let's start looking at numbers that are prime between one and twenty. So let's look at um, two. No. no. Is that prime? No. No. What are what are two's factors? Wait, wait. Yeah, we can't count it. Because it's the only factors are one, one, and one and two. And this is one and two. So is it prime? Yeah, two is prime. What about three? Three is prime as well because we can only multiply it by one. One and three. Can we multiply it by anything else? No. What about four? Is four prime? No, because it has one as a factor and two and four. That's more than two factors. Is five prime? Yes. yes. No. No. One times five. five. We, have, yeah. we can do one times five. What else can we do? Five times five. That'd be twenty-five. We're only looking. Five times one. We're only. We need to get a total of five. So we can five times five. Is it prime? Yes. Yeah. Yep. You're right. It is. What about six? Uh, no. Three times three. I'm gonna ask that you guys start raising your hand because I know you guys.
guys have lots of ideas, but I can't hear them you all talk at once. Josie? No. No, what, what are factors of six? Uh, three and two. Three and two and one and six, so it's not prime. Seven? Jacob? Yeah, it's fine. How do you know? Because um, you can only, you can't do anything but one and seven and seven and one. All right, I agree. Eight? No. Maddie? No. No, because we have one and eight and two and four. Okay, nine? No. No, because we have one and nine and three and three. Ten? No. Nope. No. Eleven? Yes. Yes. Good job. Twelve? No. Nope. Because we can do one and twelve, two and six, three and four. There's a bunch for that one. Thirteen? Yes. Yes, it is prime. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Fourteen? No. Nope. No. Because we can do two and seven. Fifteen? No. 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 What what factors does it have besides one and fifteen? Yep. Three and five. Sixteen? No. No, we can multiply that by a bunch of other numbers. Um, 17? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hear it. Raise your hand if you have an idea for that one, because I hear a bunch of different answers. Brendan, what do you think? I think it is a prime number because the you can if you times 5 by 3 is 15, and if you times 5 by 4, four you're going to get 20, and if Four, if you're trying to times it by four or three, you're just going to get 12 or 16. You're not going to get 17. Yep, so 17 is prime. I agree. What about 7 times 2? 7 times 2 is 14. <laughs> 18? Yes. Prime or not prime? Not prime. Not prime. 19? Yes. Prime. Good job. And 20? No. No. Nope, it's 